Hi, this is Stuart from the Photomatics team, and here I'm going to share five tips for shooting a real estate interior with bright windows. So let's get started with our first tip by turning all the lights on in the room. When taking a set of bracketed photos, lighting your interior is key, as by making the room brighter will help reduce any differences in lighting in your scene. In my next tip, we'll set the ISO to 400. And why are we doing this? Well, to keep this simple, the lower you set your ISO, the longer your exposures will need to be. And then your results could very well end up being unusable, either overexposed or blurred. Or worse, both. So to avoid this, set your ISO to 400, but don't go any higher because if you do, you'll run the risk of your photos being noisy. Now let's talk about the best way to set your shutter speed. Point your camera at the interior and not at the window. Any bright light, and especially light coming in through a window, is going to dramatically affect your camera's auto exposure, and you'll just end up with a set of dark, underexposed photos. So to overcome this, point your camera to somewhere inside the room that is far enough away from any source of direct light, and that includes the window or anything artificial, okay? Then make a note of the shutter speed displayed by your camera and use it to set the normal exposure for your bracketed photos. By normal, I'm referring to the zero EV photo of the bracketed sequence. Let me explain what I mean by EV. EV stands for exposure value, which is a value or measurement which is found on the photographic exposure scale. For example, if I asked you to take a set of three bracketed photos with a spacing of 2 EV, then each of your photos would have a separation of two units on the EV scale. You see? So back to 0 EV. Now this refers to the photo that appears in the very middle of your bracketed set. And HDR relies on merging multiple photographs of the same scene. And this means taking a series of long, bright, plus exposures together with short, darker, minus exposures. Now let's move on to a tip that is easily overlooked. Switch your camera to manual mode. The reason you switch to manual mode means that your aperture and your ISO remain the same once you've chosen your shutter speed. If you select any of your camera's pre-programmed modes, then your bracketed photos will end up with different aperture and different ISO settings. And then if you merge photos with different apertures and different ISOs, then you'll end up with an image which has lost all its depth of field and simply won't be sharp. And lastly, use a camera that can auto bracket five photos at a spacing of 2 EV. To get the best results, your bracketed photos will need to cover a wide range of exposures, from the darkest areas of the interior all the way to the brightest window. So, to get everything you need, it could mean taking at least five bracketed photos at 2 EV, or nine bracketed photos at 1 EV. Let's recap on our five tips. Turn all the lights on in the room. Set your ISO to 400. To set your shutter speed, point your camera at the interior, not at the window. Switch your camera to manual mode. And finally, use a camera that can auto bracket five photos at a spacing of 2 EV. These tips should help you get started. Use them and you'll soon see how much they improve your real estate interiors.